All right, good morning, everybody. What is going on? And early Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to all of you. DSP here live on the stream. It is time. <clears throat> after weeks of anticipation, finally, after weeks of voting, finally, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for my annual Christmas marathon. Yes! <clears throat> So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready for a day full of festive fun. We're going to be doing some really random stuff today. Like really random stuff based on what you guys picked for me to play during today's uh, marathon style stream. I'll be dressed up in holiday festive attire all day long. And in fact, this year, ladies and gentlemen, I have an unprecedented three Christmas sweaters. Three. Not one, not two, but three different Christmas sweaters to wear during today's stream that I'll be changing in and out of during the course of today's stream, okay? <clears throat> so I hope you guys are excited. Let's talk a little bit, all right? Let's talk before we even get to things like the schedule for the week and everything else. I want to talk a little bit about how today's event's going to go so you guys know exactly what to expect and there's no misconceptions here, okay? So first of all... <clears throat> It is a marathon-style stream. That means that I'm going to be streaming as of now all the way through till the end of the stream. Will there be breaks? Of course there will be. I would say probably between every time that we switch a game, there'll be either a short break or maybe an elongated break at least once during the day for me to probably get like a snack or something since this is going to be a long stream, okay? We're playing five games today. Maybe more, depending on how things go, and I'll explain in just a moment, Okay. Each game that I'm playing today, I'm estimating I'll be playing for roughly about an hour. What that means is that some of the games, if they turn out to not be so entertaining for the viewing audience or me, we may cut short. Some of the games, if they end up being really good and fun, I may play for a much longer time, okay? Um, I really don't know how it's going to go, but allow me to run you through the gaming lineup so you guys know what to expect, okay? So first of all, we're starting off... <clears throat> with Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Now, here's what I already need to clarify. Because sadly, the people who nominated and voted for this, I don't think thought very strongly into it, okay? People wanted to see me do Suicide Kings in Red Dead Redemption 2. So for those who don't even know, Suicide Kings is a series I did almost 10 years ago. When Red Dead Redemption 1 was a new release, okay? There was an online component to it. And what I did is I teamed up with John Rambo along with other random people online. We formed a party and we ran out and tried to find places where we could hilariously kill ourselves. Throw ourselves off a waterfall or off the top of a tall cliff. Ride in a stagecoach full of people off the edge, right? So pretty funny stuff. Now, <clears throat> admittedly, none of this had been planned. It was just something that I discovered was pretty funny <clears throat> to do in the game. Um... And it was kind of, I would almost say it was kind of a one-time thing, an anomaly that worked out really well and ended up being absolutely hilarious. You know, the video series was a three-part series I did on the internet. <clears throat> this was before the era of monetizing videos, by the way. This was before I had ever monetized a gameplay video. So I was putting in copywritten music and the like into the series. People really loved it. It ended up getting hundreds of thousands of views on each part. And the rest is history, except that the, sadly... Those videos don't exist anymore, at least in their original form, because the channel was hacked and shut down. <laughs> yes, it was hacked by a bunch of assholes uh, who put up illegal football games slash soccer games on it, and then the channel was shut down. Now, I know that people have mirrored that at other places, which is good if people ever want to watch it. They can, okay? <clears throat> but I always said, man, one day I'd like to go back and do Suicide Kings in Rockstar Games, okay? <clears throat> So when Grand Theft Auto V came out, I attempted to do Suicide Kings. But guess what? Grand Theft Auto Online was incredibly limited with what they allowed you to do with the online component. It didn't have the hilarious death animations. It rarely even had a situation <clears throat> where you could die and it was funny. <clears throat> you know, we tried taking two sports cars and driving them across the, in the entirety of the airstrip at the airport and driving them head-on together. And nothing even happens. The cars just go dink and stop moving and no one flies out of the cars. It was just basically a loss kind of the spirit <clears throat> of what we were trying to do with Suicide Kings. It didn't work in Grand Theft Auto V Online. So then last year, after, you know, nearly a decade 
Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. And we tried doing Suicide Kings. You know, I teamed up with a party of people. And we ran around trying to mess around with it. And I'll be honest, we found a, a couple things that were kind of funny. <sighs> but not really. It just really didn't... It didn't really reach any of the hilarity of the original Suicide Kings. After doing it for a couple hours, it kind of got boring. And like, man, there's really not much to do. And I even said, hey, if anyone ever wants to go and look for somewhere fun... <sighs> For me to go try Suicide Kings, like stuff I didn't try, please let me know. And guess what? No one ever contacted me and said a damn thing. Basically, people don't really care that much about this stuff anymore. You know, it, it's nostalgia is what it is. You know, 10 years ago, it was an anomaly. It was something that I did on a whim. It ended up working out really well. Um, but sadly, with the modern versions of the online components of these games, it just doesn't work very well. Okay? So, the funny part about this is, you know, it's the Christmas... Uh, event coming up and I tell people nominate and vote on games well one of the top nominations is Red Dead Redemption 2 Suicide Kings huh how we tried it last year and it didn't work people said it was boring and didn't work so how are we supposed to do Suicide King like I'm just completely stumped in addition to that <clears throat> as you guys know I'm, I've been incredibly busy I've been you know running through many many different kinds of streams and stuff lately the voting wasn't done until this Friday so how, within one day, am I supposed to organize for a posse of people to get together to be able to do this today? It's pretty much impossible, okay? So here's what we are going to do. We're going to do Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to see what the hell is available. I've heard that apparently they actually did change it to be more holiday festive. There's snow and stuff and holiday decorations around. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We're just going to ride around. We're going to see what holiday stuff is available. We're going to see what's been added in the last year because I've not played Red Dead Redemption 2 in a year. So we're going to see what's available online and, and the like um, and do a little bit of it. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. Out of all the games selected today, I think this one may be the most boring because I don't think there's going to be much interesting stuff going on in the game. If anything, people might try to find me and hunt me down and shoot me a million times. Which will be funny the first three times until then I can't do anything in the game because I just keep getting instantly killed. Okay? So, quite frankly, <clears throat> I don't think this is going to turn out very well. I didn't want to tell people, oh, that's a bad choice, don't do it. But at the same time, I think sadly the people who nominated and voted for this game um, were thinking nostalgia-wise with their rose-colored glasses on, not realizing we had tried to do this last year and it didn't really work out and wasn't very fun. And there was no way that I was going to be able to organize, you know, a, a, an event to do this properly with one day. One day's notice. That just wasn't going to happen, okay? So we are going to do it, but we're going to do it first. The reason being, I want to get it kind of out of the way. I don't, I'll be very honest with you, I don't think it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be me just exploring around a little bit, seeing the snow or whatever they put into the game, and getting shot at constantly. And that'll be that. Okay, um, so that's why it's first on the stream. This is the very first thing we're doing for the Christmas Marathon, all right? So once we're done with Red Dead Redemption 2, <clears throat> whether it be shorter or longer, depending on how it goes, <clears throat> I'm going to switch over, and we're going to do stuff on the PC, okay? We're doing two completely different things on the PC today. One of the games is called Myst. For those who are not aware, Myst is almost the granddaddy of the walking simulator game. And what I mean by that is it's first person. It's exploration of a world with a bunch of puzzles. There is no, like, combat. There are no characters to interact with. It's just walking. Okay? But it's the original. The original game that then spawned so many different games of this genre. You know, much in the future. Myst, by the way, is from 1999. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so... We're going to be checking that out. And then in addition, I'm going to be playing Doom 2. Yes, the original Doom 2 from the 1990s. A PC exclusive that I played in the 1990s. We're talking a major blast from the past here. Like 25 years ago. Um, I'm going to be playing Doom 2 on the stream for a bit. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Doom 2 has one of the best soundtracks, uh, in my opinion. Um, of any PC game. Like, I love the music of Doom 2. The combat's pretty good, but you guys gotta understand, this is before they even had polygons in games. Seriously, like, 
it's going to be, too, you know, sprites and stuff. So I certainly hope you guys will be a little bit forgiving. I, I seriously feel I'm going to really enjoy playing Doom 2, but I don't know how much you guys are going to like watching me play it. I think maybe it's going to end up being kind of boring, but we'll see. You know, we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll be entertaining for you guys, okay? So first Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Then we're going to switch over and do two PC games, either Myst or Doom. It doesn't matter what order we play them. And then for the grand finale, okay, it's going to be two games on the Xbox One. First, it's going to be Knights of the Old Republic, a game that you guys have asked me to play for years and years. At one point, I did start up a playthrough of it on PC. Sadly, it didn't work out because it stopped working on PC. <clears throat> it just stopped loading. <clears throat> it wouldn't even boot anymore. And I tried as much as I could to fix it, reinstalling and everything, and it never worked again. So I just basically just never resumed the playthrough. So we're going to play about an hour to an hour and a half of Knights of the Old Republic. This time around, it's the original Xbox version, uh, you know, as, as run on the Xbox One. So we'll see how that turns out, okay? And then for the grand finale, later tonight, it's going to be Roblox. I know absolutely nothing about Roblox. I'm probably the last person on Earth to understand Roblox. I don't know anything about it. All I know is it's free, and it's got those weird blocky-looking characters, almost like Lego. It kind of looks like a knockoff Lego. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to be on Xbox One, and that's going to be the big finale of the stream later tonight. Now, the other thing is I do have a backup, okay? If one or more of the games we're playing today ends up being a ginormous dud... And it ends up that people are like, man, this sucks. Just switch out. We don't want to see it anymore. That's okay. We can always go back and play some classic Street Fighter in the 30th anniversary collection. I'm sure, being that it's the weekend before Christmas and it's a Sunday, we'll probably have some people playing and be able to get some, uh, be able to get some competition. Okay. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, with the stream. If, if like I said, if. Red Dead Redemption's a, 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 you know, a dud, and something else is a dud, and next thing you know, the stream's ending early, and <clears throat> we could always switch over and play some Street Fighter, okay? Now, in addition to that, all right, in addition to that, the end of the stream, if there's time, I would like to do a segment where I basically just interact and talk with you guys, kind of like a, an end of the stream segment where we just kind of hang out and we talk a little bit about Christmas and the holidays, and basically kind of like a send-off, you know, for the, for the, the marathon, all right? Um... Also, between games, I will be taking breaks, and I, by the way, I should clarify, I am not drinking right now. It's 10.30, well, now it's 10.58 in the morning. I figure it's a little early to start drinking, just saying, um, but I will begin drinking after the first game. So once Red Dead Redemption 2 is done with, we're going to switch, I'm going to switch over games, and I'm going to start drinking. Um, what am I drinking today? Well, I have four different kinds of Canadian beer, four different flavors, and I have eggnog, and it's a new flavor of eggnog. Like, 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 I think it's a new brand I never drank before. So, I will definitely have, a, a, you know, liquor going here once we get to that point. But I don't want to start drinking in the morning. So, I figured, let's do the first game. And then as I'm switching over from the first game to the next game, then I'll switch over <clears throat> and, uh, and start drinking. Okay? So... Yes, I will be drinking during the course of the day. And, as I said, I have three different Christmas sweaters this year. I will be changing my sweaters periodically. Maybe every time that, I, that we switch a venue, or like maybe I'll wear this sweater for the first segment. Then we go to PC, I'll wear the next sweater. And then for the big finale on Xbox One, I'll wear the, the last sweater or something like that. Okay? Also, some people have already asked, will Jasper be on the stream today? The answer is yes, but not from the get-go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Kat is currently home. However, about halfway through the stream, she's going to be heading to work. So when she heads to work, then I will open the office door and I will allow Jasper to join us on the stream if he wants to. I don't know if he's going to want to or not. As you guys know, typically when he shows up, he'll hang out for a little bit and then he gets bored and he leaves. You know, he likes attention. If I'm playing a game on a stream and not giving him attention, he tends to, to, to get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> so, yes. He will be joining us probably eventually later on, but we'll see what, you know, when he feels like coming by. Maybe later on in the day, if he hasn't joined us at all, I'll try to get him in here so you guys can see him at least for the Christmas event, okay? So that's the deal. You know, if, if everything goes according to plan and every game ends up being around an hour, if not a little bit longer, 
I definitely see the stream running to like between 7 and 8 p.m. Like I said, I am taking breaks as I switch games. I'll probably take like a 15 to 20 minute break every time I switch a game. That way it gives me time not only to get everything set up, but also maybe I'll have a snack. I'll probably take a longer break at some point to have a snack or something in the middle of the day. Since normally I would eat dinner uh, around 4 or 5 p.m. my time, um, I'm probably going to want to take a longer break around then to eat something. Because my, my wife is basically making like a like salad and soup today for dinner. <laughs> So at some point, I can just warm up a soup or I can, you know, wolf down a salad or something that she's already pre-made, uh, you know, once we get to that part of the stream. So I'll probably take a longer break at some point to do that. Um, and that's that's pretty much the idea of the stream today, okay? Um, in general, nothing here today is too serious. Let's be honest here. <clears throat> nothing that I'm doing today is going to be too serious. It's going to be more about kind of interacting with you guys and hanging out and having a good time and talking about the holidays and everything. I am not going to be hyper-focused on gameplay or anything like that. Um, if you like any of today's games, like, for example, if you see me play Doom or you see me play Knights of the Old Republic, you're like, oh, man, I'd like to see Phil play a full playthrough of that in the future. I would definitely consider it. But at the same time, I'm not committed to playing well today or whatever. This is more supposed to be an, a celebration of the holidays having fun with all of you on stream um, and just kind of relaxing and having a festive good time. It's not about serious gameplay or a serious playthrough taking place today. Okay? So just being honest here, <laughs> you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not go crazy. Um, you know, it's nothing too super serious today. It's supposed to be a fun and festive event. Okay? <clears throat> so that's the deal. It's going to be a crazy uh, day for sure. All right? Now, tomorrow I am still streaming. You may think, oh, if Phil's doing his big Christmas event today, that means that he's gone for the week, right? No, I'm still streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit different than usual because I'm doing a Minecraft stream as my main gameplay stream. Four plus hours of relaxing Minecraft tomorrow, okay? I'm doing this for two reasons. The first reason is because we are massively backlogged on projects in Minecraft. I need to build a big bird statue and also... <clears throat> people want me to venture out into the world and explore for new biomes and the like. And I just haven't had a chance to do that because I've been, for the past two weeks, gathering materials to start work on this uh, on this statue. And it just hasn't come to fruition yet. So what I want to do tomorrow is try to build the statue and maybe even finish it if we can to get that project done and maybe even start exploring. But we'll see how things go, okay? Four-plus-hour stream of Minecraft, a lot can happen. Um... <clears throat> so we'll see we'll see how that goes tomorrow the other thing is it is my last day before my two-day break for christmas so i want to basically have a relaxing stream with you guys i don't want to go crazy with super ultra serious gameplay or whatever i'd rather just have fun um and that's kind of the deal is i want to have fun with it um rather than worry too much about being the ultra serious playthrough so It'll be a relaxing stream. It'll be four hours of hanging back and just having a good time. <clears throat> so I certainly hope that you guys will join me for that. Okay, that's going to be tomorrow. Four hours of Minecraft. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to do two hours of Final Fantasy VI. Right now in Final Fantasy VI, we've been following the playthrough. We're in a really interesting part of the game. We just infiltrated the Empire. We went to their home base, and we're inside their Magitech facility, attempting to figure out what the hell they're up to experimenting on the espers okay i absolutely love <clears throat> absolutely love final fantasy 6 it's my favorite final fantasy game of all time and so replaying this game and experiencing it with you guys again has been a blast and i can't wait for more so two hours of that monday night and that's the sign off because then on tuesday and wednesday of this week i am off no streaming tuesday or wednesday of this week <clears throat> tuesday is basically my normal day off where my wife and I will be running out and doing errands and stuff all day long. Also trying to get our last shopping in for Christmas because we're going to have a, a Christmas dinner uh, on Christmas Day, obviously. And we don't have, like, we have the main course. We have a ham and we have some mac and cheese, but we want to get some sides and stuff to make with it, too. So we're going to have to do some shopping that Christmas Eve, which is probably going to be crazy. I'm sure there will be people out and about rushing around trying to buy last-minute Christmas gifts and shit. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, that's going to be my Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, it's Christmas. 
And so obviously I will not be live streaming on Christmas. I'm going to be staying home and enjoying the day with my family, having a good relaxing day, making an amazing Christmas dinner. Maybe I'll share some pictures with all of you of how we're, ha how we're doing with our, our Christmas dinner and stuff like that and what we're up to. But I will be back in full capacity, full-time streaming, this coming Thursday. <clears throat> and so this Thursday, everything resumes and picks up where we left off. It's going to be the continuation of my Shenmue 3 playthrough on Thursday, followed by some PUBG Battle Royale. Hopefully PUBG works this week, because it failed miserably this last week. I did not work at all, and I ended up just kind of hanging out with you guys and talking with you for about an hour and a half, because we couldn't get the game to work. Okay, hopefully it works this week. Um, so yeah, PUBG and Shenmue 3 on Thursday. Then on Friday, the continuation of Pokemon Sword, which has been a very awesome playthrough. Maybe what we'll do is we'll actually try to finish up the story of the game this Friday to end unlock the post-game content. Because people are saying the post-game content can be pretty good and it unlocks more Pokemon to catch and stuff. So maybe it's time to do it. Um, and then Friday night, my throwback session of Street Fighter, right? Late night Street Fighter, Friday night fights. During the weekend, we'll resume with Final Fantasy VI and all the fun stuff. So, it's great stuff coming up. You know, I hope you guys are excited. Also, a reminder <clears throat> that at the end of the year, I do my year-end events, which are the best games of the year countdown and the most disappointing games of the year countdown. They're going to be live-streamed events right here on Twitch. And quite frankly, I think the most disappointing games countdown may be the longest thing I've ever done. Because this year had so many disappointing games, seriously, that... I want to call them all out, and I get, basically want to call out gaming in general for basically being very deflating and underwhelming this year, because it was a pretty sad year for games, being quite frank with all of you, okay? <clears throat> so, <laughs> let's see how all that goes, but that should be fun coming up either at the end of December or early January, okay guys? Alright, so lots of stuff going on, right? <laughs> pretty good, huh? All right. All right, good stuff and fair enough, as they say. Um, all right, so I hope you like everything that I just outlined. I hope everything sounds good to you. I hope you're ready for a festive day today. Fun stuff tomorrow. Obviously, I wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and Happy Holidays, whatever it is you may celebrate coming up this week, right? <clears throat> I'm ready for a fun day today. I hope you guys are ready as well. Okay. One other thing that I want to mention before we get moving on to the next segment of the pre-stream, and that is... There is another event coming up. I know, we're doing the Christmas event today. There's another event coming up. It's the Viewer's Choice event, okay? This event is when you guys get to nominate and vote on a game that I will do a full playthrough of here on a, on stream. Um, I didn't set anything up regards to that event yet because I figured that would kind of be jumping the gun considering we had a Christmas event to get through first, right? So, <clears throat> probably later on this week, I'll be setting it up on my forums where you guys will be able to start nominating games for the viewer's choice event, okay? Think about it. What game have you always wanted to see me play that I haven't played? Or on the flip side of that, what's maybe an older game that I played a long time ago that you'd like to see me play again in the modern era here? You know, direct capture, live streaming. <clears throat> Was there a game I played a long time ago that you think if I replayed it now it would be really entertaining, okay? So think about this. During the week, and like I said, by the end of the week, I will set all that up so that you guys can... Start nominating, and then what'll happen is probably in early January you'll vote, <clears throat> and then probably by mid January we'll have determined what the game will be, and then we'll go from there. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Let's now move on to the second segment of the pre stream, which is, of course, the gratuitous plugs. Normally on a day like today, well, on, normally on a, on a normal streaming day, I would go through a bunch of plugs, and I would tell you, thanks very much for 11 years of being a streamer, and you could cheer yourself and tip to get a shout-out during the stream. I'm pretty sure most of you know the deal, all right? The, the bottom line is, if you cheer yourself or tip today, I am going to give you a shout-out. That's a major part of this holiday stream, is having fun interactions, okay? But, today, I am trying to raise a tip's goal. This tip's goal has been up all week long, and my goal is hopefully that by today we can hit this goal. This goal, very matter-of-factly, is to help me with my taxes. I need to pay my tax attorney, and then I need to pay <clears throat> the taxes that I owe to the state of Washington where I live, all right? And if I raise this, this will help me tremendously in doing that, 
All right, so it allowed me to basically have a good head start for the year of 2020 rather than being behind the eight ball and playing catch up and trying to figure out how to pay stuff. This will get me off on the right foot and boom, I'll be able to actually pay what I owe. All right, so today if you contribute in any way, I'm incredibly grateful and I will give you a shout out. If you're the top cheerer or top tipper today, I'll put you on the leaderboard. All right, there's also a top cheering leaderboard that I'm going to give a shout out to in just a few minutes. There's also a leaderboard for the people who get to the most subs in the week. I'll give a shout out to that in a few minutes. All right, but <clears throat> the absolute best way to contribute today, if at all you can, is by tipping me. As you can see, this week has been great. We are more than halfway to the tips goal already. So we actually don't have a giant amount of headway to make today. You know, it could have been a lot worse. I was thinking, oh man, what happens if we, we reach the Christmas marathon? We barely even budged. But it's the complete and polar opposite. We've done really well this week <clears throat> with this tips goal. So thank you already to anyone who contributed to the tips goal this week. Thanks so much for your support. Um, can we hit it by the end of today? That would be amazing. That would be, would be absolutely amazing. If we can hit this tips goal by the end of today's Christmas stream, um, put me in a great position, you know, obviously put the pressure off for me for the rest of the week, having to worry about it and stuff like that. So let's see what happens today. Okay. Let's see what happens today. Fair enough. All right. So a couple things about tipping me. If you're interested in contributing to the tips goal today and help me hitting it, um, <clears throat> there's two ways to tip. You can either look below the stream for a tips jar button and click on that, or you can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, which will bring up a link to my PayPal tips page. All right. A few things about tipping. First of all, you do not need a registered PayPal account linked to a bank account to tip. That is a misconception. You can actually just use a debit or credit card to tip like you're paying for anything else on the internet. However, that option does not always readily show up available on the PayPal tips page. What happens is if you try to do it on like a mobile device, like a phone, a lot of the times the page will not load fully and therefore you won't see the icons to click on if you want to pay with a Visa or a MasterCard or, or another kind of a credit card. So I strongly recommend if you are going to tip today, but you don't want to use a PayPal account, use a desktop computer. Then all the options will load and you'll have those options available to you. Okay. <clears throat> now also, this is very important everyone. So please listen up. If you are planning on contributing today in particular, if you're planning on contributing to this tips goal to help me out, thank you in advance and understand something. Contributions are greatly appreciated. They help me out tremendously. You guys keep me afloat. You're the reason why I'm here every single day streaming, quite frankly, but they're not mandatory. All right. I want you to know that up front contributions are not mandatory to my stream. I'm happy to just have you guys hang out and have a good time with me. Have a fun festive Christmas day today. That's what it's all about. It's not about raising money and all of that. All right. It's not what I'm here for. I would still be here even if I couldn't raise a dollar. All right. Because I love, it. I love doing my hobby as a job. I love hanging out with you guys and having these fun streams. It's just an amazing thing. I know how lucky I am to be able to do this. Trust me. Okay. But <clears throat> that being said, if you are going to contribute today, please do what you can to protect your identity. And what I mean by that is if you're going to tip me today, please do not use your real name. I strongly recommend you don't even use your real online persona name, anything linked to your social media. I strongly recommend you don't do that. All right. Why? Because sadly, there are people out there on the Internet who are out to hurt you. For no reason, by the way. It's not like they personally know you. They think that they're going to get anything out of it. It's just because they can. They have no real power in their real lives. Their real lives are absolutely miserable and devoid of any kind of positivity. And therefore, the only way that they can get any kind of pleasure out of life is to hurt others. So if they can get your information and they can harass you online on social media or they can do stuff to mess with you because you contributed to a streamer, they'll do it. Okay? <clears throat> no valid reason, no logic to it. They just do it because they can so, if you're going to tip me today, I recommend maybe you just make up a name. You could completely just fabricate a name and do it under a name that you've made up. That way, no one will know it's you. Or you could just say anonymous. Then really no one will know it's you because anonymous is just a generic thing. There's no one, anyone can get any information about that, okay? So, try and look out for my, my supporters. Please, if you are going to contribute today via tipping, please protect your identity, all right? It's the best thing to do. And I don't want anyone getting harassed, especially this Christmas week. Okay? Fair enough. All right, guys. Now, also, I do feel that before we get started here, I should talk a little bit about the rules of my streams. Um, 
I am streaming on Twitch.tv, and therefore I must abide by all the rules and regulations of Twitch.tv. So please understand that up front. I can't just say and do whatever I want. <clears throat> okay? And in addition to that, I have my own code of conduct and a set of rules that I follow that I feel in general allows my streams to be far more entertaining and in general more chill. Okay? So allow me to explain. Um, first of all, I feel that there are two topics that when we get into them, they end up being very controversial to the point where people basically get into arguments <clears throat> and it can completely derail a stream. I don't feel that these topics have any place in discussion on my gameplay streams at all. In general, those topics are politics and religion. I don't know what it is, but for some reason when people talk about those things, if they don't agree, they tend to be really nasty with each other. And the last thing I would want is to be having a great time in a game today, drinking, being merry, having fun. I turn to my stream chat and everyone's arguing about the impeachment of Donald Trump and Brexit and blah, 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 blah. And I don't give a flaming turd about that. I don't. Especially on my gameplay stream, none of that applies. None of that has anything to do with anything we're doing today. And I don't want it to derail the stream discussions, okay? <clears throat> so please understand that, all right? Please, no talk about political stuff. Or religious stuff on the stream. The only exception is if we're in the midst of playing a game or whatever that has that as part of the discussion and it's impertinent to what's going on in the game. That's very different. Quite frankly, with the game selection we're playing today, I don't foresee that happening. Okay? So please understand that. <clears throat> and uh, please abide by it. I don't want people to get in arguments and then get moderated because they're not abiding by the rules. The other thing is, no talk of people who are hurting me. No talk of people who are stealing my content. No talk of people who are insulting me. No talk of people who are riding my coattails and making a buck, basically bullying me and slandering me and defaming me. I know these people exist. They're incredibly toxic, disgusting people. They literally only have any kind of existence on the internet because of me. I didn't exist. They wouldn't exist. <clears throat> All right? They only exist because YouTube allows them to exist by hiding behind YouTube's baloney of, oh, we, you know, unless you're going to sue them, there's nothing we can do, which is complete horseshit. And you would think that YouTube would actually stand by their laurels and say, oh, we have this system for harassment and bullying and we would actually abide by it. They don't. Um, so please understand that. We're not going to bring that crap up today. When we do, if you bring it up, all you're doing is giving them attention. <clears throat> the very attention that they're seeking, right? That's exactly what they want is they want you to bring them up and reference them because then they get more attention. People will go check out their content on YouTube and fill their pockets with more ad revenue and more money for watching their garbage, toxic, disgusting, immoral content. So don't mention it, and that's it. It's that simple. Any mention of it, it's going to be a ban from the chat, because especially today, we're trying to have a jolly and festive mood, and we're not going to be derailed by a bunch of negative shit. Okay? <clears throat> Fair enough? <clears throat> okay. It's time to move to the third and final segment. Of the pre-stream, which is when I give shout-outs, okay? So let's do that. Let's start giving shout-outs for those who've contributed. First of all, overnight, there was a series of cheers. Anonymous cheers. So thank you to whoever it was who anonymously cheered overnight. I appreciate that very much. Also, early this morning, Fatal Skills tipped me $2 and said the following. In case I don't make the stream, I want to say Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Well, thank you very much, Fatal Skills. That is very much appreciated. And uh, thank you for... The support, I appreciate that. Maybe I'll see you today. Maybe I won't, right? But thank you for that. Okay. Cody Carls did a 420-bit cheer and says, Merry Christmas, Phil. I can't believe we're already approaching 2020. Good luck with all the current tax hurdles and keep pushing until Jasper. I said hi. Thank you, Cody Carls. Yeah, 2020 is right around the corner. <clears throat> 2020 is the new decade. Is right around the corner. Can you believe it? So let's get Cody Carls up there with the first cheer and the biggest cheer of the day. Thank you very much, Cody. JB, Timmy, two bucks, and says a friend in, de in need is a friend indeed. So here is a, a little tip to help you with your goal because that's what friends are for. Thank you very much, JB. I appreciate the $2 tip. If you get the tipping going on today's stream. Every little bit helps. As you know, we're climbing to hit the goal. Abdullah tipped me $2. He says, if I donated $50 for you to get Borderlands 3 Season Pass, would you get it and start playing the first DLC campaign? Because I love the DLC. It's hilarious. Very fun. I'd love to see a playthrough from you. No. <clears throat> very matter-of-factly. No. Number one, 
I don't like taking money in order to only be able to use it for one particular thing. Um, I have no interest in going and playing the DLCs for Borderlands 3. I liked the game, but my viewing audience got bored of it during the course of the playthrough. And by the time that I finished it, I was like, okay, that's good. It was a good game. And in reality, it's one of the better games of the year, in my opinion. But not great for a viewing audience. And I have no desire to go back and play the DLCs. So, Abdullah, I appreciate the $2 tip, first of all. I appreciate you, by the way, offering that up front. Because I hate to say it, there are some people, <clears throat> they get overzealous. And they'll be like, here, Phil, I've already sent you $50 so you can play the DLC for Borderlands 3. And it's like, whoa, I never even agreed to play it. Now, is this guy going to be angry if I keep this tip to use it for something important? Or should I refund the money? You know, thank you for not putting me into that situation. Okay? Just in a, I, I appreciate the maturity and the intelligence put into this to ask me up front. I do. Um, the answer is no, though. And, I'm, you know, sadly, I, I do like the game. Would I personally like the DLC if I played it? Probably. But for my viewing audience, it probably ain't going to fit. So the answer is no thanks. Okay? Awesome. That was that went very smoothly. <laughs> Hidden is back. To me, $100. <clears throat> oh my goodness, listen to this. He says, Two questions. Do you fear death? And do you know that you're in a horrendous financial position, but do you think you'll outlive your debts and be debt-free one day? Or will your debts outlive you? It's like, oh my God. For a 100 bit cheer, Hidden is back. This is like the heaviest, most ridiculous question ever. All right, like, oh my God, listen to this. <laughs> First of all, uh, Hidden is Back, you do realize today is the Christmas Marathon, right? The holly jolly, festive, positive Christmas Marathon. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, all right, let me put it this way. I don't think there's anyone out there who doesn't fear death. At least, you know what I mean? Like, I think everyone has an air of uncertainty of what comes after death. I'm certainly not going to sit here and be philosophical and talk about <laughs> stuff like that on a Christmas holiday stream, all right? Um, I think that's not what we're here for, all right? <clears throat> so, uh, do I fear death? Yeah, to some extent I do. To some extent I do. At the same time, I know it's coming. It's inevitable. There's nothing I can do about it. So, you know, there's, th there's irrational fear versus rational fear, and I guess you can argue that it's one or the other, but I think, I yes, I do have a fear of it. Um... As for my debts, uh, I have a lot of them. I talk about them from time to time when I need help or if I, it's important that you guys know what's going on with me. But, you know, there's no telling. I'm 37 years old. There's no telling that my debts are going to outlive me. I don't know how long I'm going to live. I could live for five more minutes and then I could spontaneously combust here on stream. I could live for 500 more years and become a cyborg. You know, who knows what's going to happen, right? <clears throat> so I think that's a ridiculous question. Thank you for the 100-bit cheer. Captain Old B, or Captain Alby, I think it's Captain Alby, um, subscribe to the channel, thank you Captain Alby for the subscription, I appreciate that very much. <clears throat> then we move on to some more tippers, very nice, um, Infinite Sphere, tip me $5, that's the biggest tip of the day so far, is a Merry Christmas to you Cat and Jasper, and I hope 2020 will become more stable for you, cheers, I, I appreciate that sentiment, because I hope it does too, I hope that I get to a point where it's not constantly about being worried about stuff like this behind the scenes and it's more just about having a good time with life you know that's really what it is is if i weren't in such a bad financial position my life would actually be much better and more enjoyable i feel i wouldn't have the stress and worry constantly uh and i'd like to get to that point so maybe i will we'll find out thank you infinite sphere for that i appreciate that uh, 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 uh. wow excuse me uh zero point Zero tipped me five dollars. Now listen to this because this is actually a reference to a, a movie that I very much like. All right, let's see if you guys can get the reference. You guys ready? <clears throat> You're out. Finish the Twitch. Expelled. I want you off this platform at nine o'clock Monday morning. And I've contacted your local draft boards and told them that you're eligible for military service. So, does anyone know? Oh, there you go. Or someone already got it. Hallucinations. Animal House. Yes. That is a great reference to Animal House. That is when, uh, basically, the frat, the fraternity, flunks out of the school and the dean expels them. And that's the quote he uses when he's talking to Mr. Plutarski. 
zero point zero. That's his grade point average. It means he literally didn't score a single point in any class. <laughs> yes. Now, how on earth this guy even afforded to go to the university and didn't score a single point in any class is beyond anyone's understanding. But still, it's a great movie. <laughs> so, thank you, 0, 0.0, for the $5 tip. I appreciate that. And also, I appreciate the reference. Honest Fan did 100-bit cheer. He says, we're going to make big tips today. Phil, be prepared. Nonstop shout-outs. Pubes. Pubes? And cheers, merry cheers to... Wait, what? Pubes and merry cheers to all. Pubes. What the hell? <laughs> the whole message was nice. It's like said pubes. What? The? I don't know if that's an autocorrect issue. <laughs> that really threw me for, for a loop there. I was like, huh? Anyway, thank you for the cheer, honest fan. Okay, then. Um, Orcs or Dork 7, resubscribe for 29 months. Thank you very much, Orcs or Dorks, for 29 months of support. That is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Smegma Poo did a 250-bit cheer. He says, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Phil. Thank you very much, Smegma Poo. Merry Christmas to you as well. And thank you for the cheer. Hopefully you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, tipped one dollar, tip me a dollar, and says, tipped one dollar. All right, well, thank you very much, tipped one dollar for the dollar tip. <laughs> wow. That was the most matter-of-fact thing i think i've ever done on a stream <laughs> okay <clears throat> two bar king did 100 bit cheer thank you two bar king for the 100 bit cheer i appreciate that good to see you today pw dubs to me a dollar so can you use this dollar to buy shrek 3 yes wait what no i just said that's that's not what i like to do i don't like it when people will present a contribution only with a, some kind of an attached criteria to it that i must use it for something in particular so thank you for the dollar tip but no i'm not buying shrek free i'm sorry i'm very sorry <clears throat> okay weird what weird asian lady did 100 bit cheer and says if you can't discuss religion why do you say merry christmas instead of happy holidays actually i said bull so there you go thank you for the cheer alberto ponte take me two dollars he hey phil hope your your uh your finances get better what will you be eating today um as i said because i'm doing a marathon my wife and i are not able to eat today, dinner today at all together so She's going to be making some kind of salad. I don't know what it's going to be. She'll be making us a salad. And also, we bought some chicken noodle soup from the local grocery store. Uh, not not the salty Campbell's kind, but fresh made from the local deli. And so I'll be having a soup and salad at some point during the course of today's stream when I get a break to get something. And I have some trail mix. We have some beef jerky. We have a bunch of things that I can munch on in between the breaks if I get hungry. Plus, like I said, I'll be drinking... So I'm definitely going to need to have some food in my system so I don't get sloshed. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Mushtaba. Resubscribe for 10 months. Thank you for 10 months of support, Mushtaba. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. Um, JB tipped me another $2. He says, here's some money for an oil change. You don't want to BMW your current car. I don't even know what the hell that means. But thank you for the $2 tip. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so... Thanks so far, everyone, for your contributions. Let's now give some shout-outs to the people who have contributed over the course of this week. Um, which means we're going to read out the top cheerers of the week. That is right. So thank you very much to the following people. In 10th place so far this week, keep in mind, by the way, I should mention this, guys. Today's the last day to cheer and have a count for this week. The leaderboard resets overnight, and on Monday morning it goes to zero. <clears throat> so... If you want to get up there as the top cheerer of the week, <clears throat> you must cheer today. <clears throat> okay? In 10th place, we've got Who's Yuri. Thank you very much, Who's Yuri. In 9th place, a tie. So technically, it's, it's actually a tie for 8th between Popsicolo and Delancius. In 7th place, it's Rock the Ice 24. 6th place this week goes to Murdoch. 5th place, Mr. Papavera. 4th place is Snake Eater 1247. 3rd place, Tom. Second place, Tanta Mounter. And in first place, cheering for this week, it is Two Bar King. Thank you all so much. I appreciate the support. Also, <clears throat> we have the top sub gifters of the week. We have Cody Carls, who gifted one sub. Yeah, 4335, who gifted one sub. 
And then in second place, Philly Buckeye, who gifted four subscriptions to the channel. <clears throat> and then in first place for the week, Internet Famous McCroy gifted five subscriptions. So thank you guys very much for that support as well. All right, it looks like last but not least, PW Dubs just tipped another dollar and said, all right, instead can you use this dollar to buy milk and cookies for Santa. You know what? I'll do that. When Kat and I go out on Tuesday, I will buy milk and cookies for Santa with this dollar. So thank you very much, PW Dubs. I appreciate that. I received another tip, dollar tip from Tip the Dollar, and Tip the Dollar said, Tip the Dollar, Tip the Dollar. My keyboard is malfunctioning. <laughs> Great. Oh, hold on a second here. Let's try this again. Uh, wait, what happened? What the flip? Uh, did it just delete? Are you kidding me? I think as I was trying to get my keyboard to work, it fucking deleted. <laughs> it deleted the leaderboard. Now, the good news is it should still be over here. Aha! I was going to say the leaderboard should still be over here on another screen. Thank God, because if I had lost that leaderboard, I was going to be very upset. So, hold on a second while I copy and paste this leaderboard. What the shit happened, man? So, this is called... Okay. I think I can copy and paste it. Hold on here. Add. Text. And... There it is. There we go. That would have I would have been severely upset. <laughs> I would have been severely upset if that had been deleted off the screen permanently. I'm like, what the hell? Um what I need to do is resize it. Shit. There we go. It's still a little bit too big. Hold on. That's better, right? That's better. Okay. So now let's update that. It's supposed to be 1196. Thank God I got a backup. Thank God I actually have a backup. Um, so that I can fix that. I can, you know, if it, if it crashes like it just did, I can bring it back. That would have really sucked if I lost everything. If I lost every... <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I just received... Uh, let's see here. Oh, some more contributions came in. I like sand and dirt. No, I like sand, dirt, and wine. Cheered. He said, my dad got screwed over by his tax guy. <laughs> Can we use the same tax attorney you're using? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me give you my personal information of, you know, the tax attorney I use so that you guys can fucking harass him on the internet. Do you think I'm stupid? Obviously, the answer is yes, you think I'm stupid. And... You know, the, I'm not stupid. You're just an idiot. So thanks for the cheer. <clears throat> and enjoy your permanent ban from chat. <laughs> bah humbug, motherfucker. There you go. Anyway, thank you, Alfred Aponte, for another dollar tip. He says, for you, man. Thank you very much, Alfred Aponte. I appreciate that. Um, Gerard Crow took me a dollar. He says, saving SNES and NES games on Switch works fine for me. Um, I don't know what happened on your end. Maybe you just had bad luck. I don't know, but it didn't save at all. <clears throat> and as I was playing last night in Super Mario World, someone said, yeah, this is a known bug or a known issue. I don't know if it's considered an issue or a bug with the Super NES games that they don't properly save a lot of the time. You need to create a save state. If you don't, you lose all of your progress. So now I know that. <clears throat> that really sucked that I lost everything from last time. But the good news is last night I turboed through a lot of it. I didn't get to beat Super Mario World because of it, but I got pretty close. So, Pinky, Triple X. Cheers says, there's no way we can ever have another cat stream. Listen, I've said this a million times. I will say it once again. Because you know what? So, no one's really asked in a while. It's up to her. If Cat ever feels like she wants to come back to stream and be a part of my streams, she can. It's always an open door policy with me if she wants to come in and, and, and just sit in on a stream where I'm playing a game, or if she wants to come and do a Q&A session with you guys, like she like she's done in the past last year. Um, but the truth of the matter is that all the people who were so nasty to her last year on the Halloween stream were so nasty 
She doesn't have really have any desire to come back. She has no she, you know, there's no convincing her that things have changed. In reality, have they really? The same people still illegally steal my content. They still make fun of her, even though she's not a part of my content. So what would change if she came back today versus a year ago? Nothing, right? Until those people are gone from the internet and not allowed to do their disgusting shit anymore, I don't see why she would have any motivation to come back. I'm just saying. You know, she was very happy to be a part of my streams and to participate until the people who illegally do that shit decided to send their followers over here and be very disgusting to her on that particular stream. It completely turned her off from ever being a part of my content. Again, I don't blame her. You know who to blame. It's very simple who's responsible. I've talked about it before. We know who's responsible for it, and they should be held accountable. It shouldn't be, oh, blame her or blame me. I would love for her to be on my stream. She would love to be a part of the stream, but she's not going to come here and be constantly attacked by a bunch of immature, shithead, pieces of crap, immoral, garbage people. And we know where they come from. So... Until that changes, and until those people are gone from the internet, uh, she's not going to be a part of my stuff anymore. And it's their fault. Directly. 100%. <clears throat> okay. Um, Empire of the Sun took me $20. Said, Disappointing Hollow Knight is not in contention today because it really is a phenomenal game. But regardless, hope you have a Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you. Take care. First of all, Empire of the Sun, thank you very much. That's the biggest contribution so far of today. So let's get you up on the leaderboard. In addition... If you can believe it, Hollow Knight lost out on the voting by like 1%. And I'm not exaggerating. I didn't I didn't skew the voting. I'd be interested in playing Hollow Knight. It lost by a minuscule percentage. So it was so close to being played today, but it, it just didn't make it, okay? <clears throat> and I'm sorry about that. I know you probably wanted to, you know, especially if um, it's one of your favorite games and you want to see me play it, but it didn't make the cut, all right? Now... I've already said, I've already said, I am very willing to play Hollow Knight 2 when it comes out in 2020. So if people keep me in the know and informed about Hollow Knight 2 and let me know when it comes out, I'll check it out, okay? And <clears throat> also, <clears throat> also, as you guys know, I just mentioned, we have a Viewer's Choice event coming up. This would be a great opportunity for those who want to see Hollow Knight to nominate the game to be played as the viewer's choice playthrough, okay? So, hint, 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 okay? All right. All right, continuing on. Snake Eater did a 500-bit cheer. Snake Eater, thank you very much. That actually makes you the top cheerer of the day, so let's get you up on the leaderboard. 500 bits. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Oops. <laughs> An extra parenthesis there. And PW Dubs sent me another dollar, and he said, Mr. Phil, what have you done with your Xbox 360 and PS3? They're both right here in front of me. <clears throat> the Xbox 360 and PS3 are still here in my gaming setup. If I ever need to play on them, I can. The thing is, the Xbox 360 at this point... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll probably never need to play the Xbox 360 again. The only thing would be if there's a game that's not backwards compatible on the Xbox One. But for the most part, all the games I've wanted to play in the last couple of years pretty much have been. I think the last game I played on there might have been Scarface. Um, the PlayStation 3 I'm still actively using. I'm using PS3 right now to play Final Fantasy VI. You know, a current playthrough that I'm doing. <clears throat> so it's pretty crazy. Here we are almost in a two entire console generations later. And I'm still playing on the PS3 to do stuff. But then again, that's a testament to the fact that sadly Sony didn't understand... The demand for backwards compatibility you know people still want to play their classics and when you don't make them available on the modern console that leaves a whole a big gap you know <clears throat> excuse me why is it that you can't play ps1 games on the ps4 via some method i don't know it sucks you know <laughs> okay Alright guys, so it looks like um it looks like that's that. I see that some people are arguing in the stream chat. That's not cool. That's definitely not in the, the spirit of what we're doing today. So I'm looking at the stream chat to try to figure out what's going on because I don't want people to be arguing and insulting each other. Please stop right now. Okay. I see that that Anonymous is here to help moderate. I've actually talked with the moderators. There will be a few others who will be in and out of the stream 
over the course of today to help moderate. <clears throat> Apologies in advance if we have to use followers only mode. <clears throat> Chances are we will have a lot of assholes in here trying to ruin the day. That's right, because even though this is a holly jolly festive Christmas stream, the people who are discussing individuals, you know, on the internet never give up because this is who they are. They are nasty. That's like them personified, toxic. And so they do what they do just because they can. Is it messed up that they would do this on Christmas Day? Or not Christmas Day, or during the Christmas event? Absolutely it is. But they don't give a shit. Because, you know, why would they care? <laughs> why would they care that they're trying to ruin our festive fun, right? Um, It's messed up, but it is what it is. So we'll do our best, okay? We'll do our best to try to regulate the chat if we can. But in reality, it's going to be pretty difficult, especially when I'm playing games and stuff. To really be staying on top of that stuff. So just in advance, please understand we'll do our best. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Rumble Stiltskins, please stop with that nonsense right now. I'm just going to warn you up front. I have no tolerance for your baloney today. And if you keep giving me Christmas baloney, I'm going to give you some Christmas humbug. And you're not going to like it. Alright? Just to warn you. Okay. Alright, guys. Let's take a quick break. I'm going to go use the restroom. And then we're going to start up, like I said, with Red Dead Redemption 2. Quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much from it. As I said, there was no time to set up Suicide Kings. I, Suicide Kings, when we did it a year ago, wasn't even fun. Um, so more than likely, I'm just going to be riding around the world, seeing what's Christmas-themed, maybe doing a couple of random things here or there. And uh, outside of that, I don't know what else I can really do in the game. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to last. We'll find out. I'm sure people are going to be killing me nonstop once they find me, which will be absolutely hilarious, I'm sure. <clears throat> And we'll go from there, okay? All right, guys. Oh, PW Dubs did another dollar tip, and he said, will you do fan appreciation? No. Fan appreciation used to be a multiplayer event where I would set it up, and I would play a wide variety of multiplayer games with the viewers. This was a much different time. It was a time when, number one, there were tons of multiplayer games that would come out near the end of the year that were all great. And number two, it was a time when I had a more positive viewing audience that basically wanted to jump in and interact with me in a positive way. The last time I tried to do Viewer's Choice was the year when Metal Gear Solid Five came out. Was that 2015? And everyone who joined the lobby was trolling and was ruining everything for everyone. They were taking up spots from legitimate viewers who wanted to play. It ended up being a really unfun, toxic time. And I said, that's it. I'm done with this. Since this is what it's become, you know, I can't control it. I can't stop people from doing trolling and stuff. I'm done with it. And quite frankly, in reality, it's not like we're missing out on much. There really aren't that many multiplayer games out anymore to play. Like, what would I do this year <clears throat> if I were going to do, uh, fan, you know, uh, a, a, a multiplayer event? <laughs> I'd probably do Call of Duty, which sucks. I'd probably do Street Fighter, which sucks. Maybe Plants vs. Zombies. Um, what else, right? Nothing. <clears throat> so, because these idiots ruined it, much like with my wife being on stream, um, you know, I haven't actively sought to ever really continue doing it. And it, that's that's just the truth of the matter. Okay? All right. So that is it. Let's take a quick break. I'll go use the restroom when we come back. We'll actually start up with the gameplay. We'll try some Red Dead Redemption 2 and see what happens. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? How about this? Since it's almost noon, I'll run downstairs and I'll grab a beer. Here's what I'll do. I'll finish my Mio water. I'll run downstairs and I'll grab a beer. And I'll start drinking a beer during Red Dead Redemption 2. How does that sound? <laughs> Alice Telemann just cheered. He said, I just watched The Gift of Geef. Hilarious. Yes. When I played Street Fighter on Friday, I gave some people The Gift of Geef. Zangief. <laughs> it was very funny. All right. Maybe, I'll, maybe today I'll be giving some more people The Gift of Geef. I guess we'll see how today goes. Like I said, if we end up with a couple games that are duds and we play and we cut them short, then maybe I'll be giving other people the gift of geef today. <clears throat> okay? All right, guys. Thank you, and I'll be back shortly with Red Dead. <laughs> 